Hello, um, I'm here to do a tutorial of the um, very clean, neat, uh, three-piston elevator. And it's pretty simple, you just put a switch like that, oh, it's done, it's a three-piston elevator. No, but we want it to go up three whole blocks, which is really great because that's the height of a person plus one. So you can go up a whole floor in a building without any hassle. And the great thing about this design is that all the redstone is hidden. This is like the eighth time I've started this. Uh, the first time, cleared a space, that was pretty boring, you don't want to see that. Second time, started building this component and messed up a lot. So I built it ahead of time, and I'm going to rebuild it for you here. Um, so the first component we need to build is the component that's going to uh, let the elevators go up and down most of the way. There's still going to be one more component we have to make to make it work right. We're going to put down uh, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of dirt. Oh yeah, by the way, my keyboard's really loud, uh, but it's not really, my microphone's just really sensitive. Um, and we're going to put redstone torches, one, two, three, there, like that. And we're going to, right where these redstone torches are, behind them we're going to dig out a hole. Oh, not behind that one, not behind the last one, I made that mistake last time. But behind these two, so the one that's on the very, very end, don't do it on that one. Uh, behind these two we're going to put a hole and we're going to put a redstone torch. And then we're going to continue this hole out underneath the uh, row of dirt that we did. Ooh, not that one, not that one. Uh, and we're going to make it come out to here. This is just great. We're already like halfway done with the first component. Not really halfway done, but most of the problem with this is just thinking of it in the first place. So we're going to put two redstone along the top here. Then we're going to put a repeater and set it to setting number two. And then we're going to put redstone and then a repeater set on two. Then redstone again, and come around here, two blocks, and here, and we have, oh, nope, right here we're going to have a repeater, and we're going to set this to the very longest setting, and then redstone, and then a repeater, and we're going to set that to setting number two, and redstone. Great, we're almost done, and it's getting dark, so. Now, uh, that's almost all the redstone we need, actually, but we're going to put, um, we're going to continue this little line of redstone out here, just like that, and we're going to put one there, and one there, and one there. So do you see what I've did? It's, uh... So what does this do exactly? <laughs> like, this is sort of a funny component that you've made here. Uh, but, well, you put a, put a lever on here, and we'll see, see how it goes. Uh, when I first turn the lever on, you'll notice that the, that the redstone goes off one, two, three. And then when I turn it on again, or on again, off again, you know, you know what I mean. When I toggle it, ooh, it goes on, one, two, three. So it goes off, one, two, three, and on, one, two, three. That's really important because we want the elevator to go up and down in opposite ways. Um, so anyway, this is the first component. This is the main component that's going to make your elevator work. But uh, there's one component we're going to need in a little bit. Um, but anyway, I've already built that component over here, so I'm just going to trash this and go over to that one. Uh, but that's how you make the first component. Okay, so um, at this point we have the the main component, and uh, we want to hook it up to our um, our triple pistons here just to make sure it works. So um, what I'm going to do is, um, and this is going to go to the lowest piston. This one's going to go to the second lowest piston, and this one's going to go to the highest piston. So I'm just going to kind of make a path here. Um, well, let's see, this one's going to have to go up to. So we're going to, one, two, there we go. This one's not going to have to go up at all. This, this one's just going to uh, go in. And then this one's going to have to go up three, or four, or five. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, out. Four, five. Okay, so our it looks like our pistons going are going to be uh, right around this block. So I have to continue that over a little bit. Actually, what I'll do is I'll shave a little bit off here. Um, so maybe this isn't a very good tutorial, but uh, but this is my first tutorial. So give me a break, okay? Um, anyway, uh, these are going to actually go to sand blocks. So we're going to make a pillar of sand blocks right where these all intersect. 
Um, and this is what's going to carry our redstone power. So, um, now, these things are going to be powered, and we can put pistons next to them, which is great. I love it. Um, so we have our three pistons there. We're, we're just going to check to see if it works. Now, what should happen is they should all go up correctly, but then when they come down, they should all go down except for the very last one. So, ooh, they don't appear to go up correctly, so we're going to have to do some troubleshooting here. Ah, now it looks like maybe what we should have done is had this go up less. Ah, there we go. So this one actually is going to go up one, two, three, four. And this one's going to go up one, two, and this one's going to go up none. So it goes up correctly now. Now let's see what happens when we turn it off. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? So the last one still hasn't gone down, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about that yet. Uh, that's what the second component is going to be for. But now, uh, now that we've set this up and tested it, uh, and we know it's working, it's a good, good benchmark point. We just have to deal with that little, little blip right there. And we're going to make a pulse that comes to here, and makes that go, oh, whoops. It goes to there, maybe. No? Where are we going to make this pulse go? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> going to make it come to here. Yes. Okay, this is an important detail that I probably should have mentioned <laughs> earlier. Um, Alright, so moving right along. Uh, if you're with me so far, that's good. Uh, I'm having a little trouble myself, but, you know, it won't be too bad. Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> I just tried a couple times to make a, a pulse generator like I'm supposed to, and uh, I really couldn't figure it out, so I'm trying it again. It's like the third time. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is put down um, a dirt block, and then put a torch on it, and put redstone here, put another dirt block, and redstone, and another torch, and bop, bop, just like that. We've made a little circle of torches and redstone. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, from that piece of redstone, we're going to come over. And it doesn't matter which side you do it from, since it's symmetric. Uh, but then we're going to come up with a uh, delay block, and we're going to set that to maximum value and put that right there, okay? So we're going to attach a switch here, and if all goes well, we should get a pulse out when we toggle it one way. Ah, did you see that? Watch this torch right here. When I toggle this switch, it goes on and off again. That's exactly what we want. The switch goes there. And when you turn it one way, you get a pulse. Turn it the other way, it stays off. That's the pulse that we need to come over here to finish the process of closing it. And it's actually a pretty small component, but we're going to have to build it in a specific place. Uh, I'm probably going to build it over on this side. Uh, eh, yes, I think it has to be on this side. So I just built the second component, and uh, you'll notice that um, this is the output here. Uh, the torch that blinks, we want the output right there. But I put it too close, so don't do what I just did. Okay, I moved it one block further away, so now we have space to run a wire from this blinking torch over here to the block that we need. We needed to go to this block. So, put sand there, and bop, bop. It should work. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it works. That's exactly what we need. So we have the two components wired in. Uh, the only trouble is both of these switches are still manual. So we need to automate that by connecting those switches with redstone wire and put in a master switch. So the important part now is to figure out where your master switch is going to go. In order, order to determine that, um, you're going to need to start building a foundation. And in order to do that, you need to have some sort of coherent matter, like not sand. The idea is to make the enclosure and then test the two components separately again and make sure that they work. This is just sort of, you know, if you don't get it right the first time, then you, at least you know at what point you went wrong. Anyway, so that enclosure is fine. We'll just do that and test the components now. So, first component. Uh, looks like it goes up okay. Then we'll bring it back down. It should go down all the way except for the last piston. 
um, which is still up, so that's correct. And uh, this pulse generator should, yes, bring it back down. So we are good. If you notice that it stops working after you build in your enclosure, you should take down your enclosure and make sure that you're not making any accidental connections by putting blocks in. Anyway, so we're going to fill in this space here because uh, we want to hide that redstone. And we're just going to build around some more. So we need to make a staircase going down from the back of that with redstone trailing up to the lever. And you'll notice that when we go and test the lever, it lights up that redstone. All you have to do is remove that switch. And we'll leave that one there, just so we can remember where it is. Um, we're going to need more redstone, but uh, we are going to put in a delay block here, so that we can make sure the redstone signal gets there. We're going to set it to maximum, and bring it right to where that old switch was. And we're going to bring redstone around here, and after we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve or so, put our repeater and we'll set it to the second setting. Then we'll go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Magically get more redstone. Um, so we just keep going. And then put another delay block here and set it to the second setting. So you'll notice it's important. These two delay blocks are the same delay as this one. So this is four, and this is two, and two. I don't know how good your math is, but... So now we're going to connect that right here to the uh, thing that we made before. Component number two. That's what I'm going to call it. Our switch is right next to the elevator. That is not good. We need to move the switch back away from the elevator. So it's good that I'm finding these bugs before you find these bugs, huh? So we're going to uh, bring this dirt up. And that won't affect our redstone at all, which is good. Um, so we'll go back up here. Oh, don't need that. Put the master switch back, close it, and now let's test it. Oh, there's something wrong with the pulse generator. Ah, yes, so I figured out what's wrong with the pulse generator. We, we, we forgot a really important component. The pulse needs to come way later than the rest of the signals, so we need to put a bunch of repeater blocks between this pulse and its target. So. We're going to go put three repeater blocks here to start, and we're going to put them all on maximum. I think that should be good. If it seems like it's too slow, we can try lowering it and see if that works, but uh, better too slow than too fast, because if it's too fast, it won't work. So let's toggle the switch. Up, good, and down. Oh my goodness, it works! Watch this. Up. Three, you're on the second floor. There's no way to go back down right now. Uh, that's one of the things, I mean, you guys are pretty creative. You can find a way to get the switch to let you go back down, right? Uh, but that's just a matter of making like an ore circuit or something. Or, you know, but the, the point of the matter is it goes up and then it comes back down. And that's what I promised that I was going to show you to do. And it works, and I'm really excited because this is the second time I've built it, and I'm getting better at it every time. So I hope you could follow this tutorial, and thank you for watching.